My name is Rachel and I'm currently a third year degree student in Fine Art and Art History from the University of Plymouth. A Fish Sale on Cornish Beach from 1885 by Stanhope Alexander Forbes. One thing that features heavily in Forbes's work is reflections. Impressionists love to create the sense of movement, capturing the atmosphere of a moment. They could easily use their bold, broken brushstrokes, so familiar with the Impressionists, to create these beautifully clean reflections in the still pools of water caught in the sand lines. Forbes always gave the sea a dull, matte finish, using the shallow puddles to depict the mirror-like glassy reflection. Forbes, along with other Impressionists, used everyday scenes to paint from. They were the first painters to create work for the masses, directed towards the common people. They emphasised catching reality and daily tasks, putting onto paper and canvas what they saw at that exact moment in time. Painting en plein air helped them to achieve this, painting directly in front of the subject, allowing the Impressionists to capture the atmosphere within their imagery. The title of the exhibition, Into the Light, draws attention to one of the most important devices of the Impressionists, their use of light. They used a lot of white to add luminosity and depict the changing quality of the sunlight, especially in their reflections. Though working with blacks and browns in this piece, Forbes uses this technique to create movement and texture in the landscape. For me, this painting encapsulates Cornwall's history. Steeped in a rich heritage, its fishing trade is what Cornwall is best known for. Images such as this are so important as they help us to document that time in history, from the style of clothes they wear to the social groups classes mixed with them. Though not every painting can be relied upon to be accurate, scenes like this were most definitely common in Cornwall in the late 18 to 1900s. Please also see a study for a fish sale on a Cornish beach.